Hi there booktube, it's Eleanor here and today I want to talk to you about some books that I have bought recently. Um, I know I've tidied my room and now I'm buying more books. Um, let's just move past that. Um, it's not loads but I just thought I'd show them because I thought they were quite interesting and fun. Uh, well the first one maybe not so fun. Um, I keep hearing rave reviews about this particular book and not just from everyone that I've seen that's read it on booktube, also people that read in my real life. Um, the lady that I do my book club with at work um, has told me how amazing it is and I've just thought I've got to read this. Um, and it is educated by Tara Westover. I very much doubt it needs um, much explaining um, but I'll try and give you a brief synopsis of what this book is about. Tara grew up in a family that were preparing for the end of days. She'd never set foot in a school and uh, she didn't even have a birth certificate. And when she reached the age of 16, her father had become much more radical and her brother was becoming quite violent. And so she um, ended up having to make a decision to leave um, and to put her through self through education and the sort of price that that took on her. Um, I've heard it's brilliant and um, I just think it's something so outside of my norm I just think it's going to be a really interesting read um, so I look forward to trying this memoir really soon. The next book I picked up because I saw it on uh, Whitney from Witty Novels channel she was so excited about this book and when she um, described it I was like yep 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 ticks all the boxes and um, it's called The Accidental Beauty Queen by Terry Wilson. It's about twins and one of them is an elementary school librarian which I just thought sounded great um, and the other twin is obsessed with a beauty pageants and um, when something happens to that twin um, and she has um, something to do with I think she gets an allergic reaction or something happens to her face where she can't enter the beauty pageant um, the other twin has to do the sort of a switcheroo to try and help her out and it just sounds like you know she's she's a bit out of her depth in terms of what she's used to and comfortable with I think it's just going to be fun and frivolous and I just think it sounds really cutesy so um, I picked that up uh, because I saw her um, talking about it and then stemming from that I ended up picking up two books that were recommended to me via Amazon from getting that book um, and they're both by the same author who I don't think I've read anything about yet um, but they're, the author is Jo Watson and the books are The Great X Escape and Love to Hate You. So this one is about a girl she decides very ill-advised to give a toast at her best friend's wedding who she has been in love with her whole life and confesses it during the ceremony um, she then takes off on a desperate trip abroad to try and get away from the shame and um, uh, the grief I suppose of it all and um, haphazardly comes across another fellow traveller who is also um, trying to get over an ex and they follow some sort of 10 step foolproof pan and um, they're bound to fall in love aren't they but I just think it sounds like a fun trip um, to get there anyway and this other one uh, love to hate you is about a, uh, a a woman she is you know generally quite sensible except she has this one night stand in the back of a car I think um, which then turns out to be her new boss and her new boss wants more than just the one night stand so um yeah it sounds like it's going to be a fun sort of romantic comedy read. Um, this one says read over 10 million times and um, yeah so I think maybe this author has come from uh, like Wattpad or something like that I don't know but uh, both sound like really fun romantic comedies. And then the final one that I picked up again came from um, sort of the contemporary thon and watching people's recommendation videos and uh, videos talking about what they're reading um, and that is Collecting the Pieces by L.A. Fior. Um, this one says at 15 I fell in love. His name was Jake Stevens and he took the abandoned lonely girl I had been and made me whole. His love was a pure and unconditional love that made every day better than the last. A fairy tale of my very own. But this story isn't about Jake. It's about Abel Madden, the man I met after the fairy tale goes to hell. A cocky, arrogant man who says that he says what he wants, does as he pleases and makes no excuses for it. He irritates me, downright pisses me off at times, but he also brings me back to life. 
My name is Sydney Ellis and this is my story of finding love twice and the first one I needed it most and the second when I never saw it coming. So I just think this sounds like it's going to be really fun um, and I can't remember for the life of me whose channel I saw it on now but I, they sounded like they really enjoyed it too. So yeah that is some of the books I picked up recently as you can see there is a bit of a theme going on in the type of books I'm wanting to read um, but that's fine and I look forward to telling you what I think of them soon. Uh, anyway let me know if you've read any of these and uh yeah which one shall i start with <laughs> uh, i look forward to speaking to you in the comments down below bye for now booktube